Do you love Adobe InDesign so much that you want to use it for PowerPoint presentations as well? Well, you can, and I'm going to show you how. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous Designs, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something that you are interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thursday. All right, let's get into today. The first thing you need to do if you want to create slides is obviously make them 11 by eight and a half so that they're landscape instead of portrait. So each individual page here in Adobe InDesign is going to be a new slide. So I'm not necessarily teaching you today how to make a PowerPoint presentation. I'm simply going to show you how to take that presentation that you have already created inside Adobe InDesign and present it if you are plugging your laptop into a uh, computer or into a computer, into an overhead projector, or you are sharing your screen uh, during an online webinar. So all you need to do is, as you can see, it's not full scale, right? So you don't want everyone probably to see all the slides that you have going on. So as long as you have the selection tool at the top left selected and you hit W, You'll see that the margins and all of that information goes away, but if you hit Shift plus W, then you get presentation mode. So this is so easy. All you have to do is page down in each slide. So these slides actually were imported from um, Keynote, so that's why they're a little blurry. But if you create your slides directly inside Keynote, they're going to look, or inside Keynote, inside InDesign, they're going to look beautiful. And you're going to have your entire presentation right inside here. And if, you know, it's one of those things where I think I heard uh, there was another designer who loves Illustrator, and she said she creates all of her slides in Illustrator because she just loves Illustrator so much. So the same thing with InDesign, especially I think this is great if you are, if you have a presentation where you'd like to show off some of your InDesign work or if you have magazine style layouts or if you are uh, just trying to learn InDesign better and you don't want to switch back and forth between Keynote or PowerPoint or other applications, you know, you can obviously do everything right here inside InDesign. Now, if you're interested in learning how to create master slides or master pages inside Adobe InDesign, definitely sign up for InDesign 101. It is free. It teaches you how to do master pages and then you could create a master slide just like Keynote has master slides and apply those to different pages and then start editing those. All right. I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next week. Bye.